On Friday night, August 9th, I'm filming a story at a DUI checkpoint in the city of Pasadena. This is located on Pasadena Avenue next to Huntington Hospital. After being there for about an hour, I decide to leave. Upon my exit, I'm confronted by a motorcycle cop named Officer Watkins, who rides up onto the sidewalk and confronts me. Watkins demands my ID. When I asked what crime I am suspected of committing, he cites jaywalking. Watkins says that it occurred when I first got on scene over an hour earlier. When I ask him why he didn't cite me at the time of, he says that he lost sight of me while I was on foot. This is obviously, clearly, police and government retaliation for a constitutionally protected act. Here's some video backing up my claim. Do you have any ID? I do. Great. I need to write your citation for jaywalking over here. Yeah? Can I see your ID, please? Uh, where was I jaywalking? Right here on Belfontaine, sir. I didn't, I crossed at the crosswalk. But there isn't a crosswalk. There is a crosswalk right here. Look, there's a crosswalk right there. Uh, I'm talking about when you cross from the south side of Belfontaine uh -uh. to the north side. Do you have your ID, please? Uh uh. I didn't jaywalk. Are you refusing to give me your ID, sir? I didn't jaywalk. You absolutely did. So, You're going to, uh, I'm going to write you a citation for jaywalking, sir. You're you're gonna, your ID, what's, what's your name and your badge number? Officer Watkins, 9296. Sir. Watkins. I, ID, I don't have it on me. Why not? So any reason that you, you waited a solid 45 minutes to an hour to get me on, on a supposed jaywalk? Well, I lost sight of you, sir, behind a sign over here. Oh, you did? How many people think that's a lie? Please comment below. Yeah. Are, do, you, are, do you need medical attention? Do you have eyesight issues? What's going on? No. Is it a mini stroke? What's going on with you? You lost sight of me? Good thing Watkins is right next to a hospital. He's not doing very well. Watch me drive on the sidewalk. Look out, Mr. Pedestrian. Respect my authority. Everybody try this at home. Okay, so I amended this to include all comms between uh, these, especially these three officers. So, and I appreciate you getting this, the uh, sergeant out here. Okay. So there's that form. And uh, how soon do you think they'll be back in touch with me? Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and submit this to them. So okay. I'm going to give you a call once I get something back. Okay, perfect. Any? Right. Okay, sir. Uh, I wanted to get, uh, I'm putting in a couple of public records requests. Okay. Uh, for an incident that took place on the 9th. This sergeant is making $336,000 a year. No wonder why my fine was so high. Okay. And I wanted to know if I could get, um, per SB 1421, records on. Shepman, Sprague, and Watkins. What kind of records? Uh, their disciplinary records. You would have to contact Internal Affairs for that stuff? Sorry. That would be your recourse to get that information. I don't okay. have access to that. Where are they in this building? You could try and contact Sergeant Kirby or Lieutenant Grisafi. How do you spell that? G-R-I-S-A-F-E, Kirby, K-I-R-B-Y. Okay. They would be the ones that be able to help me with that? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, all right, great. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. All right, that's it. Um. So here's the letter that I received from the city of Pasadena police chief citing they're not going to be releasing the body cam footage, the radio comms, or any of the personnel records as per SB 1421. So if this doesn't say that the city of Pasadena has something to hide, I don't know what does. This is zero transparency in writing kits. Johnny's favorite shirt. You're welcome. <laughs> so here we are at the outside payment window. We don't even need to go inside. City of Pasadena and the LA Superior Court system has made it very convenient for us to pay our fine in the middle of the sunny day. Okay. Oh, okay. look, everybody, look what's behind me. That's the Pasadena Public Library. Sorry. No pictures. Shh. Can I help you? I'm sorry, sir, but we can't have filming with that. No, I can't be shh. No, I can't be. How much is the fine?
fine. It is one hundred and ninety-seven dollars. And if you think that's a crazy amount for jaywalking, jaywalking you are. Here we go. Let's zoom in. Seeing is believing, kids. Here we go. Here we go. This is how he's on an incline. <laughs> oh my gosh, you better catch it. It's hard to get up there. I have the money. It's just not clear. Excuse us. Thank you. Have a nice day. Stay. Okay, well then get another job. He just said he doesn't want to be filmed. If you're going to film, he's not going to help you. Okay, here it goes. Uh, this is Pasadena, is this the courthouse? Uh, yeah, this is the courthouse. Okay, hold on. Oh, sorry, I wasn't even paying attention. Here we go. Take a look at that suitcase. Okay, show them your what you're scooping with. Oh. If you want some Johnny little product Bravo. placement. He's scooping with his own cup. Uh, That's what she said. The clerk will be with you shortly, okay? Thank you. What's your name? What's your name? I can help you. Clerk will be with me shortly. No, he won't. He just said he wouldn't. Stop resisting! Stop resisting! See, the problem with giving retaliatory tickets is every time I come back to your city, I will make sure that you remember me. Oh, and just so everybody knows, this is not about the pennies. This is because the guy didn't want to be recorded. Right, this is because he didn't want to be recorded. Yeah, this is even about the pennies. Right, we haven't even gotten to the issue of loose change here in pennies. Oh yeah, no, there's people because the window's right back here. There's people right here. Uh... If I were a waiter and you walked in and I didn't like how you look, I'm trying to pay you pennies here. That's very cool. <laughs> Stop resisting! Take my money! City of Pasadena! Take my money! They're refusing to take my money. $197 jaywalking ticket paid in pennies. And the clerk refuses service because he doesn't want to be on film. He's already on film inside. There we go, everybody get a shot. If I walked off my job, do you think that that would, would, would go over well with my superiors? Traffic window, cash and checks only. Cash and checks only. I've got cash. I've got cash. Lots of it. Uh-oh, here comes the law. Boop. Boop. Okay, they, here's where they send all the police. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, you're trying to pay something? That's all we're trying to find out. You know the cops are full of it when they say stuff like that's all we're trying to find out. They're trying to get my name to run me for warrants so they can arrest me and stop this scene. Hey Einstein, take a look for yourself. What do you think? Do you have the citation? Einstein, you take a look. You think it looks like I'm trying to pay money? Do you have Einstein, are you try does it look like I'm trying to pay money? Sir, yeah, sir, so get this guy back on his job. Does Get this clerk the, back on his job. What's your name? Saldivar. What's your name? Deputy Saldivar. Saldivar. S-A-L-D-I-V-A-R. How about you? Buchanan. Buchanan. Mm -hmm. What's your What's your uh, badge number? Right here. I can't read it. What's your badge number? Speak. It's right here. Speak. It's right here. It's the policy of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department to verbally give their name and badge number when asked by a member of the public who inquires. This is a common power play with tyrants from coast to coast. 
to give you some perspective on the scale of the LA Sheriff's Department, there are 2,850 jail jurisdictions in the United States and LA County jail system is the largest of them all. LA County holds more inmates in custody than all jails in each of 37 states. The budget for LASD is $3.4 billion and they still can't afford body cams and dash cams. It's not that they can't afford it, they simply don't want to be held accountable. The LA Sheriff's Department is one of the biggest laughing stocks of all law enforcement nationwide. Why would one agency not want to be held accountable when time after time body cameras have exonerated officers in a court of law? As most of you know, the number one person in the department, Sheriff Lee Baca, is headed to prison and his undersheriff, Paul Tanaka, is already in prison for hiding an inmate who was an FBI informant within the LA County jail system. LA County sheriffs rape, murder at will, and have actual gangs within their ranks. One of those gangs is called the Banditos, based in East Los Angeles. Do some research for yourself. You will be shocked. Speak, servant. How about you? It's right here. Speak. No, Tell you, me your badge. It is not your policy to state your badge and name a badge I number. I need you to yell at me. I'm talking to you professionally, boss. Okay. okay. No, you're not talking to me professionally. A professional officer would state his badge number. They're simply here to get my name to run me for warrants. Also, they wind up sending four guys out here with guns to try to solve this issue. Who wouldn't take that as a hostile gesture? Talk about escalating a scene. If you have the form or the citation, we, we're more than willing to help you. So you are? He yeah. just abandoned his post. Well, because I'll I had a camera form. running. That's fine. I mean, that's enough. You, you have every right to film. All right. Okay. So, so if you have the form. Uh oh. Hey, lady, can you help me? Lady. What's your name? Los Angeles County Superior Court should be ashamed of their lack of training with their employees. What's your name, lady? Look, look at all these people. They're just walking away. This is this is what you I call mean, service. But if you have the form, I can give it to them to show okay. to show what you're trying to. Pay. There's there's right there with the man bun. What's up, man bun? Tell me your name. Are you afraid of cameras? What did you say? Is that what you said? No, I don't, listen, we haven't even gotten that far. We need to have somebody at the fucking window. Do you have the uh, citation? Dude, no, uh, we need to, we need somebody at the window first who's willing to work at their job. They're willing to work. They're not willing to work. He just abandoned his you post for 10 the, minutes. The port where you can put in your no, listen, there's a speaker right there. Do you not know how this works? Give him the case number and you can let that. Do you know how this work doesn't you. work? Yes, what is your pro he just abandoned his post for 10 minutes well, maybe his supervisor right there. Maybe his supervisor just told just schooled him on what f***ing job is well, right she maybe went to go get a supervisor there's, oh all right and she told him that i'm allowed to be doing what i'm doing I understand that. then tell are, him to get back to work get out get out of here you don't have to yell at me well right? you don't have to come out here with a gun there's to, three not, guys f***ing guns here let's face it the initial jaywalking ticket was a threat of violence against me. Don't think so for yourself? Try not paying a traffic citation and see what happens. So when they knew I was coming to give them the money in a way that was unpreferable to them, they made an extreme show of force as an attempt to threaten and intimidate me and even possibly deterring me from carrying out my legal obligation of paying this fine. If the only tool you have is a hammer, you tend to treat everything as if it were a nail. I'm trying to help There's you. three, well tell him to get back to work. That's how you can help it me. Looks like he's trying to get back to work. All right, well then you can get back to work and you can get back I'm, I'm inside. Get right back now. inside. Trying to find out get what get inside. Go okay. back, go, right. go, go, be gone. I don't have be gone, I, I be gone. I want. You can stay. You, yeah, I can stay here. That's not a problem. I'm not interfering with, with whatever you're trying to do. All right, I'm not interfering. I'm just trying to help you out and speed up the process. That's all I'm trying to do. Okay. All right? Okay, are we able to proceed? Yeah, no? Take it over, your license number. 
Is that a yes or a no, sir? I need your license or your ticket number, sir. Okay, ready? What is your problem, dude? Do you not know your job? You got a good, you got an education on the job for fun and for free. The next one gets an invoice. Jesus. What's your name? Hi, my name's Sergeant Herrera. Sergeant Guerrera. Herrera. Herrera. Would you like to make a payment? I'm try well, I'm trying to make a payment. He we'll abandoned his happen. post. Okay, well, we'll make it happen. Is this what, is this the money that you're trying What's your in? badge number? Sir, my name is Sergeant Herrera. Okay, and I'm asking you. for your badge number okay, as well. Would you like to turn Sergeant me? Herrera, it is not the policy of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. 416095. Was it that sir. difficult? Okay. Apparently sir. it was. Okay. Stop talking right now. Okay. I'm sir, talking. Your stop really talking. Okay. okay, is that a crime? I'm trying to help you. Is that a crime? I'm being. Lady, you're not here to help me. You're here to run me for warrants so you can arrest me and end this PR nightmare with all of these people gathered around. I'm disrespectful. I'm I came you. here to pay okay. money. Okay, and I want to help you. And I want to help. This is just mind numbing. This is why you ask for a supervisor right off the bat. The only person that can help me pay this extortion fine is Mr. Man Bun, who abandoned his post over 13 minutes ago. Sergeant Herrera can only help me by having Man Bun get back to his post. This is how pathetically the LASD operates. Yeah. And he abandoned his post for 10 okay. minutes. Okay, is this the money that you're turning in and do you have the case number, sir? Yes, we have all this right here. All okay. 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 Jesus okay. Christ, what okay. a shit show. You bring out four guys with guns because I'm trying to pay a fine. There's no need to be disrespectful, sir. Oh no, it is a shit show. It is, how about when you shoot me? Head. Do you think that's disrespectful? That, that's disrespectful? That, you're right. You wouldn't shoot me in the head. You would shoot me in the back several times like your other boys in blue did in Long Beach with Noel Aguilar. That suit cost the city of Los Angeles over $3 million in the release of a gnarly video, which I will post in the description below. A video that can only be described as an execution. Okay. There you go. Bye, Sergeant. Get back to work. Everybody get back to work. Oh, look, we got three guys. We actually have we actually have a guy with a suit back there, too. We've got all the supervisors. I think we might have a judge here. Yeah, take another Yeah, hold on a minute. Gonna have to move that out of the way so we can open it. Yeah. Well, you were busy abandoning your post, so. Yeah, you ready? Charlie, four, six. Are you, are, you, are you with me or are you, are you against me? Char Olsen. $197 jaywalking ticket. Crime of the century. What's your name, sir? $197 jaywalking ticket that they won't take because I'm giving it in pennies. Yeah, man, come look at this. Come take a look at what $197 worth of pennies looks like. And he abandoned his post because I had a camera. I had a dreaded oh, camera. Oh, Dad, I wanted to take a video of that. <laughs> uh, Dad, I wanted to take a video of that. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. So those of you coming in late, this is what $197 in pennies looks like. And... I brought my, uh, because I'm a self-promotion whore, uh, I brought my In The Neck coffee mug, which can be found on Cafe Press forward slash J5. Hey, how are you? I'm Craig Blair, I'm the administrator here. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Good, you're understanding, you're trying to pay a fine? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, we can take the coins, but they have to be rolled. Uh, no, this is legal tender. You're gonna, I, I understand you're gonna that. Take, but you're, gonna take, you're gonna take the coins. But our policy is... Yeah, your policy is not law. This is, a, this is legal tender of the United States of America. Your policy does not trump the, the ability that this is legal tender. I understand okay. that, but... No, you don't understand that. Otherwise, you would be taking my, my coins. Okay, I'll take them if they're rolled. Yeah. But I, I can't take it like this. You can, yeah, you can. No, yes, not, you can. I'm not gonna take it. No, you see, no, no, you don't want to. Oh, you don't policy. want to. We don't have to. No, no, the policy, you don't want to take. No, you're gonna take my money. 
Because it's now your money. This is now your money. And if you want, I'll dump it on the fucking sidewalk here. And it becomes, this is your money. It's not my money, okay? No, this saying, is your money. If you want to pay. This is your money. What was your name again? My name's Greg Blair. Greg Blair. Okay, is your so camera what? running too? If you no. had it, it your way, be. what would we do? You can either roll it and then bring it in or pay in a different manner. What if it's rolled no. incorrectly? Well, well, then we'll figure that out and we'll notify. No. How would you figure that out? Well, we'd have to count it, but. Well, so you're going to count, count it. it anyway. Yeah, God, you are the you, dumb, you are the so dumbest that is man the alive. Thing I've ever heard. You are the dumbest right, man well, alive. I'm going to I'm going to leave the so coins you here. You should actually take cash. Yeah. You should, you should reiterate that. I'm going to leave no I'm going to leave your I'm going to leave your money here, okay? I'm going to leave your money. How does that sound? On or around October the 10th of 2019, I went to the Pasadena courthouse and asked for a 60-day extension which was granted. I also asked if the court took cash and coins. She said, yes, we take cash and coins. So if there is a policy against coins or a policy on how they will accept coins, then that policy needs to be available to the public. There are no signs at the payment windows. There is nowhere listed on the ticket, front or back, or anywhere online. Uh, 125 pounds worth, $197. God, this is going poorly. Oh my God. Maybe the city of Pasadena should have thought this one through. Maybe you don't give a, uh, a convicted jaywalker a retaliatory speed of jaywalking ticket. Also. They come back and shower you in pennies. Also. Pennies you... from heaven. It says right here, cash and checks only. So that's what $197 worth of pennies looks like, kids. And it's all theirs. It's not my money, it's their money. Okay, and you can see there's no... Oh, there's one penny. My God. We're not livers. Yep. All right, so let's get a, all the way from the right. Hit the like button, you guys. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks to those who donated towards us, $197 fund. I appreciate it. Uh, we gave them an overpayment so that they're going to have to mail me a check from the Los Angeles Superior Courthouse. So. So they brought four guys out with guns and then they said, stop yelling. You're, you know, trying to say that I was escalating things. Uh, no, but we brought four guys out here with guns, but So they're talking with two guys with guns I'm sure they're conspiring on how they can arrest me You know, they're just trying to find a way to uh, arrest me so look, they're telling them if they close, they're gonna, they're trying to close the window. So here's what they're gonna do. They're gonna roll down the window. And they're gonna make it look like the window's closed, even though this window isn't closed. They still have another hour and a half, two hours. 312, Monday, December 9th. government code section which is uh that shows that legal tender is not legal tender no it's 68083 of the government code each salaried officer of a superior court shall charge, can abandon his post collect and promptly deposit the fees allowed in each case as provided by law no salaried officer who collects fees shall be required to accept coin in payment of those fees uh, that's like not I, I already you. have you on video. I came in here with a yep. video camera two months ago where the so, lady said I can take coins. You are the dumbest guy. So what I will do, I'll allow I'll accept them if they're rolled. So if you want to take them you, and bring them back rolled, I'll accept them. The, oh. Wait, I'm confused. First you say you'll take coins but only rolled. 
Then, about 20 minutes later, you cite a government code stating that you're not obligated to take coins, but you will make an exception in my case. Please get your policies and procedures down, Blair. You're an embarrassment. Oh, we got cam back. Do you even know how to run one of those? I'm getting cam back by an actual camcorder. Hey, look, good. Say goodbye to everybody that you guys are closing the window dereliction of, of duty, of service to the public. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, yeah, baby. They closed the window early. I tried to pay with $200 worth of pennies and they lost their minds. So they're open inside though, apparently. No, they just closed, they closed this because of a protest. I can't get all of these pennies out. There's a lip, there's a lip right here and I can't, I can't get these pennies out and So I'm not able to get all of the pennies. You don't think that they were conspiring for an arrest there, you're crazy. So today's the due date for my fine, and they know this, so they closed the outdoor window, forcing me to come through the x-ray machines and magnetometers, and nothing looks more like an ambush than an ambush. I was kicked out for recording because apparently you can't record inside the Pasadena courthouse, which I did not know until I was rushed by cops and kicked out. No recording, even though I wasn't going inside a courtroom. So if anything happens to you in the Pasadena courthouse, you will have no evidence because you are not allowed to record, not even paying a ticket. So after all the hype, we decided to leave for two days of trying to pay the ticket in person and I go and make a payment online later that afternoon much to the dismay of the LA Sheriff's Department because you know they were hitting the reload button on the browser making sure that the payment went through and you know that a warrant would have been issued for my arrest first thing in the morning and they would have had my door kicked in promptly. So this was an absolute ambush for day two for my coming back to the courthouse. My spidey senses picked up on that, was not worth going to jail over and that's it. So that wraps up the story of the convicted jaywalker please leave a comment below on what you thought about this entire fiasco we'd love to hear from you hit the subscribe button hit the like button and uh, i appreciate all of you being here especially those that were here for the premiere of this video i appreciate all of you thanks